Today we're going to be making a 12 by 12 scrapbook page that uses pennant parade and the, the pennant designer paper. So let's get started. We're going to start with this page of the pennant designer paper. You should have two of them in your paper pack. Your photo mats are cut out of this piece of the designer paper. And although your measurements are on your PDF, just so, so you know, this is five and a half by four and a quarter. And we're going to cut two identical ones of these with two matching three and a quarter by five mats of tempting turquoise. So we're going to adhere the tempting turquoise to the, the decorative paper. And then we're going to finish off the edge by using our scallop edge punch. And we're going to feed that paper in, pop it out, and then we're going to line that up and keep going until we have a scallop. You're going to have one in this orientation and one in this. So I've done a piece for each of them. I'm going to adhere them to the back of the designer paper so that only a little bit sticks out of the front. Okay, so now I've lined those up, and I'm going to make a decorative corner for them out of a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock, and then I'm going to use my scallop square to punch that out, and I'm going to use my paper cutter to just cut that in half. So we line up the corners in the groove and slice. That gives me two identical pieces for my mats. I'm going to put one in this corner and the other in this corner. I'm going to put a little of our snail acid-free adhesive on the backs of both, and I'm just going to adhere them to my page. Now let's get started on our banner. I'm going to take a piece of baker's twine, and I'm just going to knot both of the edges, trim off the excess, and I'm going to use a small mini glue dot on that knot and of course it's going to be a lot bigger than the knot so I'm just going to curl it up a little bit and smush it. I'll put that up at the top of my paper. I'm going to take another mini glue dot and I'm going to curl it up and then I'm going to put it right here on my paper where I want that piece of baker's twine to stick. Once I have that where I want it I'll just adhere the top piece up here. Next, let's get started on the pennants. I'm going to be using our Petite Pennants Builder Punch, and I'm going to use this side this time just to pop out my pennants. And I'm going to do two reds, two daffodils, two turquoise, and two old olive. I've gone ahead and stamped the dotted outline and wish big, and then a couple of decorations on each pennant. I did a bunch of them on one piece of white, and then I'm just going to line them up and pop them out. Now I actually want these pennants a little bit smaller than the pennants that I've punched to adhere them to. So I'm just going to take my scissor and trim. Next I'm going to use my half inch circle punch and I'm just going to punch out a couple of these stars and I'm going to stamp a couple of stars as well. So let's use my Daffodil Delight marker and I'm just going to ink the top of that, huff on it, get my little star, and punch it out with my half inch circle punch. And I'm going to use a glue dot to adhere that to one of my pennants. Once you have all of your pennants done and lined up, put dimensionals on the back of each one. Next, I'm going to take a mini glue dot, and I'm just going to touch the mini glue dot with my pennant die. And I haven't taken the backing off of my dimensional yet. I'm just going to put this wherever I would like it to be, and I'm going to stick it down. And again, the mini glue dot just goes to the top, and I'm going to do that with all of the rest of them. Once you have the last one done, you can begin to carefully lift them up and remove the backing on your dimensional. I use my paper piercer for this. And then just stick that down. Once you have the last one done, you're ready to adhere your pictures. 